Hello there everyone, it's me Mr. Racer. And today we are going to look at a channel that is notorious for getting dislikes. Not this one. But this one. Young Defiant is a YouTuber who makes rant videos on games. Now I used to be a fan of him, but then he went after Battlefront. So I have to make this video. If you look at some of his videos. He says that games suck, even before they come out. Here is a list. Battlefront. Mass Effect Andromeda. Destiny 2. And Call of Duty World War 2. Yes, all these games could possibly botch on release. But we don't know that. We have to try it out for ourselves. He is judging all these games because the previous games with the same titles were not that great. Let's take a look through one of his videos. Another year, another Call of Duty game in this motherfucker. This time, Call of Duty World War 2, I just got finished watching the trailer, and I have to say, man, that shit looked fucking terrible. Absolute garbage. It was shit. You know, it's nothing but a Battlefield 1 ripoff, or Call of Duty World at War remaster. It's like they did nothing with this game. This game is not a Battlefield 1 ripoff. Battlefield 1 is set during World War 1, while this game is set during the second one. And besides Call of Duty entered the World War 2 thing first. If his logic was true then Battlefield 1 would be a rip off of Verdun. As for it being a World at War remastered, Call of Duty World War 2 will have different things added to it. So they did things different. You know, this is how pathetic Call of Duty is. All they do is copy other games with this whole futuristic setting. They copy Titanfall, Halo, Crisis, you know, all these games with that whole futuristic bullshit. Now, with the World War II setting, they're copying Battlefield 1. It's like, come the fuck on. Where is the creativity, you dumb motherfuckers? This is why Call of Duty is dead. No one except fake, casual, pathetic gamers still play Call of Duty. Sorry, some gamers have a different opinion than yours. Real gamers such as myself that were absolute monsters at the old Call of Duty game, I was a beast at old Call of Duty games. I would fuck one of you motherfuckers up in old Call of Duty games. I too was good at the old Call of Duty 2 game. And that's just fact. We've moved on to better games. Games that actually take skill. How do you know that the new Call of Duty game does not require skill? We don't even know if it is a good game. I have not bought a Call of Duty game since fucking, what was the last Call of Duty game I bought? I think Advanced Warfare, that was shit. Black Ops 3 was shit. Infinite Warfare was shit. I didn't buy any of those motherfuckers. Because I'm a real one. I'm not one of these fake motherfuckers that's gonna be like, oh the game is shit, I hate it, it looks like garbage, I'm still buying it though. No, I ain't one of you frauds. I'm real in this motherfucker, man. You can't touch me. But anyway, just a terrible, terrible trailer. Call of Duty is dead. I don't give a fuck about Call of Duty. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I know people still like to hear my thoughts. I find these videos funny personally. Even though they are ignorant. They provide a good troll. Even his Battlefront video was funny about Call of Duty. I had a couple of people ask me, you know, what, what did they want to, or what was my thoughts on the trailer, or just Call of Duty World War II in general. I don't care. I've moved on to better games. Um, I just, real people, real gamers don't play Call of Duty anymore. I mean, they just don't. Back when Call of Duty was actually good, back in like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 or Modern Warfare 2, back in the day, then yeah, you can call yourself a real gamer for playing Call of Duty, but now, if you still even think, if the thought even crosses your mind to play some Call of Duty, get the fuck on out of here. You know, you should not be playing games. God damn, I hate these motherfuckers in the gaming community. I really do. Now you got all these people, oh, I'm hyped, I'm so hyped. And it's like you're still going to have the same old bullshit that they're doing, the same supply drops, the same dumb shit from Activision that they always do. Call of Duty will just never be the same. Why won't you people understand that and just move the fuck on? Well, I mean, that's my thoughts on the trailer. Wait, if you buy this Call of Duty game, 
You are not a real gamer. It was total shit, nothing but a ripoff of Battlefield 1, and Battlefield 1 was shit anyway. So you're ripping off a shitty game, so your game's gonna be even more shitty. So I'm done, I, I don't care about Call of Duty, I will not give a fuck about this. Now I'll play it, I'll play it. If they come out with a beta, I will play it. And I will see if I can, you know, bite myself in the ass basically. You know, like, oh shit, I was wrong, this is actually pretty good. But I don't think that will happen. Because when it comes to gaming, I'm already on such another level that I've pretty much never been wrong. All of these motherfuckers that were hyping up Battlefield 1 and I came out and I said Battlefield 1 is shit, is going to fail, no one's going to be playing this motherfucker. A while later, what I said came to true. It came true. It came to fruition. It came, it became a reality what I said about Battlefield 1, so... That just shows that my gaming caliber is on a whole nother level from you casual ass motherfuckers. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this whole Call of Duty World War 2, Battlefield 1 ripoff, Call of Duty is dead, and that's it. Now from the trailer, the game actually looked pretty decent. Wait, at the start of the video you said the game looked horrible. So now it looks decent? This made me think his videos were just trolls. Like mine but he took down two of his Battlefield 1 videos. And I thought to myself, why would he take them down if it is a troll? I don't know. He is most likely trolling. As am I. Now, let's look at the Battlefront video. Ah oh, man, here we go again. Another sequel to another shitty game. First it was Destiny 2. Now it's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh my gosh, the, the shittiness just never ends. Once again, we don't know if the sequels will be good or not. So I watched the trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and it looks like complete diarrhea. Well, I thought it looked good, but I could not confirm it. So I waited for E3. And from what I saw, the game looked good. Just all kinds of shit. You know, who is actually going to fall for this garbage again? Well, EA seemed to have learned from their mistakes. They fixed a bunch of the issues. And on top of that, complimentary content. I mean, the first game was a fucking joke. It had no content. If it had no content, then it would not even be a game. It would just be a disc but it has a little content. And I agree they should have added more to the base game. The servers were shit, tons of DLC bullshit. You would think people would say, you know what, fuck this, I'm not falling for this shit again. The servers ran perfectly, the DLC was terrible though. Well, guess again, motherfuckers, because apparently, they are. I mean, the trailer has over 86,000 likes as of the recording of this video. I'm like, so we are supposed to judge a book by its cover and be a mindless clown like you. So what if it has that many likes? Like you bunch of dumb motherfuckers. You bunch of idiotic motherfuckers. I mean, you fall for the same bullshit time and time again, and then you have the nerve to buy the game and get mad. Like, oh man, I should have never bought this game. Well, of course you should have never bought the game, you dumbass. And here it is, it's another sequel, and you're going to fall for it again. God, what's wrong with you motherfuckers? This is honestly why I want to quit gaming. I'm tired of these idiotic, casual, fake-ass gamers who only support dog shit. Only support mainstream garbage. We have so many beast games, so many amazing games that fly under the radar because these annoying fake gamers only want to support mainstream garbage so we are fake for buying something you don't like god damn man I'm, i just remember like a time when gaming was just thriving and gaming was just something i could be proud to say you know hey i'm a gamer i love games but now i'm embarrassed to be even associated even around some of these motherfuckers because i'm like they represent something I don't want to see. They represent 
a casual fake ass gamer that has no idea what good games are that's why you have so many of these dog shit games coming out these days because there's no standards anymore why should developers try why should developers give a fuck when you idiots are still gonna buy the game regardless doesn't matter how bad they fuck up I guarantee like if a if a No Man's Sky 2 after how garbage that game was got announced right now these motherfuckers will be waiting to buy it oh well you you know the first game was complete dog shit but you know I have faith that the second game is going to be great we just have to give them a chance get the fuck on out of here with that shit well if the developers understand what they did wrong and if I see some real gameplay then sure god damn it I can't stand you motherfuckers like I'm I'm to the point where I just want to leave I, I just want to leave I don't want to be a gamer anymore I don't want to be associated with you motherfuckers anymore because you're pathetic I mean god damn man this is pathetic I just Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to be complete shit just like the first game and just Star Wars in general let's be honest one of the most over fucking rated over hyped piece of shit like franchises ever what the fuck is the deal with this garbage ass series I've never understood the hype with Star Wars in the first place it's so the prequels are trash that's when my like for this franchise ended oh shit like, I, I just, I don't understand, but here we go again, another garbage sequel to a garbage ass game that all the casual mainstream idiots will enjoy. Just, I guess, keep them coming, right? I mean, they're just going to keep supporting this bullshit. God damn. Well, that was fun. I know this is a troll, but there are real gamers out there who think like this. Don't say a game sucks because it has a negative background. See for yourself. Okay, see you later.